Hey, what's happening, guys? Red Herring here. Um, doing another Smite God Showcase that I haven't done in a while. Uh, now, in this new patch, uh, Kukulkan was really... Kukulkan? Kukulkan? That, that guy was released. However, this isn't going to be on him. See how he's pronouncing his name. Be careful, right? Falling back. Wow, that's a, he has a weird voice, honestly. His voice type. Oh, they fixed Typhoon. Doesn't look stupid. He saw a sacred dragon. However, oh, I never got to see his diamond team. <clears throat> okay, I'm getting off topic. Uh, this video isn't going to be. Okay, it looks pretty cool. This video isn't going to be about Kukulkin or Kukulkan because of his abilities. They're renamed, but <coughs> they're all of, uh, the dragon. I forget his name. That guy's abilities. However, Arachne was given a full overhaul as far as abilities. And <coughs> something they added in this patch was emotes. You can give them uh, emotes, like a little wave, a little clap. I actually got, uh, I bought the clap for Bacchus, because I like how it looks. I gave Bacchus the clap. So it will load in. Watch. This is wave, but I like his clap. Mm. And so now, I'm gonna hop into a practice joust. And I'm gonna that was loud. And I'm gonna show off Arachne's abilities. Now, I don't know why it still is giving me the mastery with her, because she also finally got a recolor. Toxic Caress, pretty cool name. However, uh, I definitely haven't mastered her new abilities, so I don't get- I guess it's just because people get mad if they took away their mastery every time they redid a character. I don't know. They don't ask my opinion on these things. Let's see if we'll load it. How long will it take us? Uh? There we go. Now, Arachne, with this new build, I think they were trying to do was make her- Because what people were doing, they were basically just focusing on her, uh, Laying eggs ability and her uh, ulti, and that was all they did. They wanted to make her a better jungler, they wanted to give her better ganks, and I think they actually did that really well here with this new set. So let's get out. Uh, actually, no, I don't have enough. Should I take speed camp? I'll try. Uh, take a look at her abilities. Passive, uh, th if any of you remember, her passive used to be. Uh, that she would apply a poison count every time she hit with a basic, but now it's that her basics gain physical damage for every 5% of a target's missing health, so as you weaken them, you actually do more and more damage, which is really cool. Now her one is Venomous Bite. Her next basic attack within 5 seconds does additional damage and, and infects with Venom, dealing dot damage and healing her I didn't know it heals her, actually. So, let's take a look at that. Bitch. See, he's got the little dots going off on him. And I just feel like with this, I love this rebuild. I really do. Uh, she's just so much more assassin than she used to be. Alright, let's take a look at her second ability Cocoon. She spindles her webbing, and her next three successful basic attacks are executed with increased attack speed. If all three attacks hit the same target, then the target is stunned. So, what I like to do combine these two together. Wail on him. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Worth. Worth. Calling that worth. This, however, does give me a chance to show off the new item they have, the Odysseus Bow. 40% attack speed, but it's really great for someone. Shut up. I know my tower is under attack. It's really great for someone who doesn't have a lot of uh, lane clear because every basic attack has a 25% chance, chance, 25 chance to do chain lightning, which I will show you. As soon as I buy the item, it'll be the next item I build. I really like it for Ragni because she didn't have great lane clear before. She definitely doesn't have great lane clear now. But now I have to look at her third ability, Web. She spindles a wall of web. Enemies that pass through it are slowed, revealed to her, and leave a trail of web behind them that increases their movement speed. Breaking the web also spawns her babies. Remember, she had the little babies that she could lay. So let's take a look at this. Actually, let's just wail on him. Wait, I don't want to see him go through it. Good babies. See, and my little spider babies. And I hate spiders, but they're awesome. And we have her ultimate, and I love this new ultimate. It's the tower divingest move. 
it is Nightcrawler. She flips up to her infinite web, hanging upside down above the lane, increasing her movement speed. She can leap off the web and deal damage to all enemies in the target area. So it's a great escape. It really is, but it's even better to chase them down. You know, you get into a fight, and you feel like they're going to do escape. So I don't have the mana to use, and now I'm just going to kill them and go back and buy stuff. Come on. Poison. Poison. Oh my god, he really escaped with that much health. Oh my god. That's annoying. I guess I'm just gonna pop a couple potions. That's so annoying. Like, if I had one more dot, he'd be dead. Let's heal up a little. It's really. She's kind of overpowered right now. I feel like she's gonna get nerfed because I played a game with her yesterday. My first game with these new abilities, and I went 12 and 4. You shouldn't be able to do that with someone you've never played before. Oh god, that was close. Alright, well, joke's on you, Raw. This time I can go chase after you with my ultimate if I need to. Come here. No, oh god. Oh god, oh god. Oh god, that did not. Oh god. That did not work out well for me. Really want to get. I love this Odysseus bow. It's a great attack speed buff, even though it doesn't give you any power. But I really just love the chain lightning. It also gives you a good chance to like wail on enemies uh, while attacking minions. Also, some of you might notice the uh, general just hub around here got to redo. They redo it quite a bit. I think they're really just trying to find something that they like a lot, and they just are kind of struggling to find something they really like. Now see if I can get the actual kill on him this time. Come on. Oh, you are so not getting away. But yeah, she does a lot of basic attack damage. And here's my... He's going to escape, and I'm going to show you this ulti. She doesn't take tower damage at all. And he just... Bring the smack down, if you will. And now I'm going to take his speed buff. Now, now that I've explained all the abilities, I'm going to do what I always do. Talk about kind of builds what I would recommend this character for. And I think it's pretty obvious that Arachne was designed it, from what I've been able to see anyway with the jungle in mind. She was designed a little bit with the jungle in mind with her last design. She was really designed for that with this one. She's really just her ganks are going to be so strong with all these new abilities. You can throw a three down and come in with a one and a two and if you can land all three basics with the two and get that. It's a pretty long stun pretty solid stun you can, re you, you can pretty much get the kill off oh god he ulti me oh god eh. yeah I really think she's gonna be a great a really effective jungler and I don't even like jungle I don't know I just find her really fun to annoy people with in arena especially if people keep activating your babies I like her. I didn't. I hated the last Arachne. I played the last Arachne when I got assigned her an assault, and then I just played a couple more games so I could get the uh, next God rank with her. But I love this new Arachne. Not that bad for power to for power pushing <laughs> for tower pushing either. All in all, uh, Planar Conquest definitely a great jungler. I'd recommend her for that. Now I just need to go back and grab this. Is there a new death? There is not. But there is the Odysseus bow that I really want to show off its ability because it's really cool. And now all those people are manning. And then I might do a quick little clip. I want to show Odin's new move off. And then I want to show uh, the emotes. I want to give an example for those. My bear pairs! I just want to show off all the new stuff in this patch. And then I might just show the new guy and all of his stuff. Probably not, though. He does look really cool. I'll give him that really awesome design. Alright, can I afford the Odysseus bow right now? I can, so I'll just push this tower. Bro, you're so lucky I don't have any mana right now. Can I take him down with no mana? Let's find out. I mean, I still do a crap ton of damage, even with no mana. If he didn't have these minions, I probably could, but I'm gonna have to run away. Yes, keep pushing. 
I'm good for you. Then, I definitely recommend a Frostbound Hammer because it slows enemies that you hit with your basics. Which is really awesome because for Arachne, if you can get them slowed and just keep wailing on them with all those abilities, that's how you win with her. It was how you won with her in the last one, it's how you win with her now. Kora, one more time. Wait on some minions to show off the Odysseus bow. Come here, min mins. See, just see, it's going off right now. Just trailing around things here. It'll look better on an actual minion wave. Come on. Oh, yep, lightning. See, they're all shockified. All right, go on, Raw. Where are you? Seriously, where is he? There he is. Yeah, ra 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 ra. I kill you one more time before I move on. Can. Alright, let's go. Wow, he's not even taking any damage, all the minions are taking it for him. Oh, he almost ulted. Oh, I got him! <sighs> Luckily, those things distract the crap out of him. Alright, well, that'll do it for the Arachne part of this video, and I'll go do the other parts. So, Odin. Odin really didn't change much. His passive changed to if an enemy dies in the spheres, he gains physical power, which is pretty cool. His one is still the lunge. It always was with the little cat, cat sound. His three is still going near his might like that, but then his two is birds. And then it does that, and it blows up. I actually don't know about it. It summons a flock of ravens that create a shield around him. The shield expires, it explodes, dealing damage. So I'm pretty sure if I use the two and then lunge in and explode as soon as they will. Oh, that is cool. Fuck. <laughs> so that's basically it. They messed around with his. <coughs> Uh, damage and stuff. What I think they were really trying to do with that and all the other stuff was get Odin more solo lanery because he's a warrior. He is usually a solo laner, but he's been a lot more tanky, and there's kind of a lack of really good solo laners in Smite, which sucks, but it's true. Uh, I don't know if that's the perfect fix to it, but I know it's really fucking cool. I actually want to do it again. It did a lot of damage. And plus, even if you're not using it for offensive reasons, the shield is still nice. Look at that. That's a frick, that frickin' chunked him. Chunk wonka didn't him. Don't divide me from me, bitch. You're a bitch. If you died, you'd have an obituary. Screw it. Tower die for kill. That was a bad idea. Mistakes were made. I don't care. I want another kill with it. I want it. Can I afford anything? I can't. I want you to kill. Plus I can get his ulti. And I can try out that passive. It's pretty cool. I'm glad it's not if Odin kills an enemy in the Ring of Spheres, because that's like the supportiest move. Come here. Oh, I didn't even hit him in it. Wait, okay, screw you. Ring of Spheres. That's so cool. Okay, one more time. I'm gonna blow it up one more time. It's even cooler when you actually get a kill with it, when it like it's your killing move. I need to get uh Jotun's Wrath though. Let's grab a speed buff. Let's blow it up for a speed buff. <laughs> that is so fucking cool. I like it so much. It just chunks my mana though. At least mana buff would have been a better idea. Whatever. Upgrade my 
great and shout. I wanna scream, I'll shout, and wave in order. It seems like his ult got a cooldown reduction too. No, you ain't going nowhere, bitch. And so now I should have a physical power buff, but how much of a physical power buff? Five per stack, max of ten stack. That's pretty cool, actually. Eh, fuck this. Fuck you. Exploding wave clear. I will definitely be picking up a mana buff next time I go get buffs. Okay. You only said one more time. See if we can catch him around here. Where are you? Are you behind your tower like a coward? Oh no, there he is. Alright. I'm gonna go blow it up one more time on him. See if I can get another uh power stack on him. I love that like impending explosion thing. Nope. Get wrecked. He doesn't even move when he's in the tower. All these power stacks, though. Stacks on stacks on stacks on stacks. See how much damage his two does without the, uh... Oh, wow. Actually, still does uh, the exact same amount of damage. I honestly thought it did more damage without it. Hmm. Weird. Still prefer the blow-it-up combo. 